good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I've always told I had a voice radio, so today I am showing you a new Mew card. And if we cannot get excited about a new Mew card, one of the most exciting and legendary Pokemon, pun intended, we've ever seen, then I don't know where excitement still exists in this world. Now, it's actually coming out in the Shining Legend set, in Japan, this is a Sun and Moon 3 Plus set, so will be the Sun and Moon 4 set in the UK. And technically, its name is Shining Mew, because this entire set features only Shining Pokemon. Like the Arceus I profiled yesterday and forgot to call Shining Arceus, for which I am sorry. Now, Mew is a... Shining Mew is a psychic Pokemon, which means you're hitting for weakness on Garbodor, but we're never going to be doing any damage, so nobody cares. 30 HP, however, is pathetic. And I don't really know a better word for it. It's horrific. It is not good. The free retreat is amazing. Look at Tapu Koko nowadays. It's a free retreat Pokemon and everybody loves it because it retreats for free. But you will be one hit KO'd pretty much every time by almost anything which kind of makes a free retreat a little bit irrelevant. You're weak to Psychic, which would be bad because of Garbodor, but oh no, wait, your HP is laughable, so it doesn't really matter. Although being a basic, you can use Fighting Fury Belt to bring you up to a respectable 70 HP, but remember, Field Blower is a thing, ladies and gentlemen, so even if they can only do 30 damage this turn, it means at any point in the future they can play Field Blower to get rid of your Fighting Fury Belt and maybe take a mid-turn KO. Now, Mew does have a second attack that does 10 damage for one Psychic Energy. It's bad, let's not talk about it anymore. But Mew does have a very interesting attack, making it worthy of his very own video. That is Legendary Guidance, which actually is a cool name for an attack. Search your deck for two Energy cards and attach them to your Pokémon in any way that you like. Then shuffle your deck. Now, two things I need to mention about this. Number one, how many times have you heard me calling out for energy acceleration for psychic Pokemon? But number two, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, this says energy. Now, all these translations are subject to change when the cards are released in the US, Europe, etc. But if you look at the wording on the card, there is no psychic energy symbol. Which means, in theory, you could be searching for a double colorless and a double dragon energy and attaching them to Giratina EX here. Or you could be searching for two Dark Energy and attaching them to a Darkrai EX. Or whatever you want, ladies and gentlemen. Although, and here is a huge downside here, the attack is for a Psychic Energy. Now, if the attack was for a Colorless Energy, then the fact you're attaching from the deck would be amazing. Think back to Xeneas and how good that was, because you attached from the deck, but it only ever saw play in Fairy decks, because it was all Fairy Energy. Now, this allows you to get any energy you like, but you've got to be using Psychic Energy, not the end of the world, of course. We can play Rainbow Energy. But not every deck wants to play Rainbow Energy. And that is going to really hurt this attack from being better than it otherwise would be. Hey-ho, what can you do? Now, let's just stick on Psychic Pokemon for a moment. Because there are a whole bunch of Psychic Pokemon that need Energy Acceleration. How about Toxapex GX? Now, as a quick side note here, you've got to remember that most Psychic Pokemon, except the ghost ones that are weak to Dark, are going to be weak to Psychic, and in a garbage or heavy format at the moment, that's not a good thing. But we're going to ignore that for the time being. Toxapex GX. For free energy, your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Put 10 damage counters instead of 1 between turns. And of course, don't forget we've got Surviper, which allows you to do 10 more damage for poison between turns. Coming out in Burning Shadows, link in the description. So you could put this up to maybe something like 140, or an expanded with Verbank City Gym, 170. That, ladies and gentlemen, is an awful lot of fun. But free energy is too much. Not with Mew around, it isn't. And, of course, you've got Total Shelter GX. 150 prevent all effects of attacks, including damage, done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Now, of course, your opponent can play something like a Pokemon Ranger to get rid of that. Or they can do something like play Escape Rope and then Lysander you into the active and get a KO. Okay, I get it. But if they don't, 
then you're getting a KO with immunity to get a second KO. And if you can bring in Toxapex GX and take down two Garbodor using Toxapex GX, it doesn't matter if you then get one hit KO'd by Garbodor in return. I'm not saying this is going to make Toxapex amazing, but I am saying that Toxapex is one of the Pokemon that immediately springs to mind here. Want another one? How about Lunala? And I mean both Lunala here. So we've got Lunala GX coming in, and of course we've got great synergy here with the ability Psychic Transfer. Just allows you to move Psychic Energy around as much as you like. Then of course you've got the 4 energy attack, 120 but can't be healed the next turn. Which is quite good because you stop your opponent healing. There will be no healing unless they play a Pokemon Ranger. But not that many people are playing Pokemon Ranger at the moment. So this is quite nice, especially against decks that do a lot of healing. It's just massively overpriced. But that's where Mew comes in. And let's not forget Luna Full GX, instant KO on any basic Pokemon. Except a GX. But that's okay, there's plenty of two prize EXs in the format at the moment, so you just get an instant one-hit KO. And let's not forget that Lunala is one of those psychic Pokemon that is weak to dark, so you don't need to be scared of Garbodor, especially with your 250 HP. Don't think that's good enough? How about the Lunala from Guardians Rising? Scattershot, 40 damage for each psychic energy attached to Lunala. Well, that certainly seems like a Pokemon that could benefit from lots and lots of Psychic Energy Acceleration. And Wings of the Moon, 130 for free energy, and then you redirect all that energy to the bench. So you get to take a KO while moving the energy to the bench and setting up other Pokemon for future turns. And then, of course, I suppose we should give a little bit of a shout-out to Mega Mewtwo. Because, of course... Mega Mewtwo, two prize Pokemon weak to Garbodor, we know all this. Still, more damage for more energy attached? This is something which can be celebrated here. There are a whole bunch of Pokemon that would love to get some extra psychic energy, and Mew hooks you up. And like I've said, I'm really focusing on psychic energy here, because you need to have a psychic energy attached to Mew in order to do this attack. And you can use... Rainbow energy, but as we're going to see in a minute, bringing Mew down from 30 HP to 20 makes it even more easily KO'd, if that's even possible. So you really don't want to be using rainbow energy here. But if you are willing to use rainbow energy, that just opens up so, so many more doors. Because there are so many Pokemon out there. I don't know, let's say something like Primal Groudon, for instance, would love a little bit of energy acceleration here as a nice example. Just doesn't want to play Rainbow Energy. I'm going to leave that one with you. And as a side note here, do remember that this can be combined with Experience Share. So you search your deck for two energy and attach them to your Pokemon. Mew gets knocked out. Experience Share comes in, moves the energy on Mew to one of your bench. Well, that's free energy in one turn. You go to turn two, and now you add your fourth energy onto the field. This sounds good. Although, as with every tool at the moment, I do need to remind you that Field Blower could get rid of Experience Share before the KO comes around. And that's a big problem, because then you won't preserve the energy. And we're going to finish by looking at things that can KO Mew. Feather Arrow on Decidueye GX. Two of these will KO a Mew, or if you've put a Rainbow Energy down, one of them. The residual damage from Umbreon GX's attack will KO a Mew. Absol moving three damage counters from one of your Pokemon to another will KO a Mew. Tapu Koko using the attack twice will KO a Mew. We've also got, if you want to get a little bit exciting here, Team Magma's secret base, which puts two damage counters on a Mew, which is a bit of an issue because then you're KO'd by one Feather Arrow or a Tapu Koko. Flipping Tails on Confusion. So if Zoroark confuses Mew and you go to attack and then you flip Tails, Mew will be KO'd. Ekans, with a double colourless energy hitting for weakness, does 40. I'm only mentioning this because I had an Ekans table at my wedding, and I gave out Ekans, this particular Ekans card, to everyone who sat at the Ekans table. This Slowpoke... For a single energy, plus a Professor Kukui. Or indeed, if you've played a Rainbow Energy, 
this slowpoke for one energy with weakness. You get the idea, Mew's not got much HP. Overall here, as a setup Pokemon, I really like Mew. I really like Mew. And if it was a colourless energy, I would love Mew so much. But it's not. So it's only viable in some decks, and the low HP is kind of embarrassing. But if you really want an early game energy boost into psychic decks and you're willing to give up a prize to make it happen and there's a million different electrode cards that have given up a prize to give you energy acceleration so don't tell me nobody's ever going to want that now before we finish ladies and gentlemen i want to make a very quick and very exciting announcement there is going to be the very first ptcg radio live stream happening tomorrow on twitch at 8 p.m uk time so google to find out what time that is if you're not living in the uk it's going to be at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio nice and easy to find come join in ladies and gentlemen because if this is successful it's going to become a regular thing and it's going to be awesome then all of a sudden muse looking pretty good Good enough for me to give him a generous feeling free wassies. But you know the deal, ladies and gentlemen, there is a comment section. Go nuts, be nice, like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and the most important thing as always, look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.